Think for a second about what you see when you walk into your garage. There are a few bikes in the corner, the grass-encrusted lawnmower. Of course, there are boxes of holiday decorations, even though you buy new lights each year instead of untangling last year's wires. And there, over on the shelf, are a dozen cans of used old paint that you know you're never going to crack open again, but you hang on to them just in case there's a wall chip emergency. Well, now there are innovators who are environmental saints by refining the process of recycling the paints. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. Today, we recycle everything from paper and glass to worn out tires and new products. But until recently, the idea of reclaiming discarded paint wasn't on anybody's radar. But these two CEOs from different companies, Kevin Callahan and Dustin Martin, came together to upcycle paint headed for the landfill and put it back into cans where it belongs. I made my way to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, to meet the guys at one of Kevin's recycling plants called Green Sheen Paints. What happens here? The number one thing that happens here is the process of taking from old paint absolutely all the way through to brand new paint. 85 million gallons of paint are wasted every year, uh, most of which are going into landfills. Our job is to inform and educate the public that you're really doing a good thing by buying a product that's sustainable and earth kind and quality product for your home. Did you say 85 million? 85 million, that's right, and growing. Kevin showed me how the process works. We actually call this area processing. This is basically our decanning area where we're taking paint out of the container and mixing them together by different color groups. All the blues are gonna dump into one big container that's blue. All the greens are gonna dump into one big container that's green. And that was our next stop. So this is where we mix the paint. You know, we brought over totes of paint that have a thousand different colors of white in it. And we need to mix it and blend it all down to one color of white. My eyes are transfixed. It looks like a cyclone just going around in there. How long does each of the totes stay in this process? Anywhere from about five minutes to an hour. After mixing a palette of paints down to one color, it's still considered dirty and needs some filtration love. These screens that are in there, it's a very, very, very fine mesh. It's 177 microns. If you can put paint through that, you're only getting liquid paint out the other side. It's gonna filter out anything down to even a very small grain of sand. Are my eyes playing tricks on me or is this like shaking really, really quickly? That is shaking really, really quickly. It's kind of unbelievable how well it moves paint through it and the cleanliness that it produces. The final step is to add a fungicide and preservatives to make the paint brand new. So this is our final mixing right here, all blended to one color, filtered, make about 1,100 gallons of one single color of paint. How many living rooms do you think 1,100 gallons could paint? A whole bunch of living rooms. A whole bunch of living rooms in here. And after all that upcycling hard work, time to chill. 